Do you feel like every day there's so much to worry about that you don't know where to focus? It's interesting because life is full of events, full of activities that made us wonder what we can do to rectify the situations or make things better for us and others. But the question is, do we always focus on what matters? So here on this video, I want you to think about uh, if you do not focus your, on your energy where you have influence, when will you ever be able to make things better? Welcome to my channel. My name is Anne Faber. I'm a high school teacher who has this YouTube channel to share with you how learning, how uh, learning new skills makes you make you um, a better person and makes you a person with a growth mindset, wanting to make the world a better place. In the last few days, I've been going to back and forth on what's the next plan for me as a teacher. And I realized that there's a lot of things that I don't have control on. I don't have control on what's happening at the provincial level, at a federal level. I don't know what's happening necessarily every day with uh, the COVID-19. Uh, what's happening for my family with respect to school, my family with respect to health, my own health. And what is, is interesting is I could spend my whole day worrying and I realized that I don't have that enough energy to worry about all of that. And that's why I was thinking about the fact that sometimes we need to figure out what are the aspects of life you have control on and what aspects of life you do not have control on. For example, you do not know, you don't have much control on politics unless you're in politics and you are very active with uh, with in uh, with uh, the uh, uh, let's see the MP and the MPP, you don't necessarily have a lot of uh, um, influences on the environment, on the health of others, on the feelings of others, how people are seeing uh, society, what they want to do for it or against it. It's interesting because if you start thinking about all the possible aspect you can worry about it's overwhelming and i think that's why a hierarchy is very important in the school system uh in politics even though democracy needs to be taken care when you have a hierarchy or people that are responsible for some decisions it allows you to uh, remember that uh, there's a few things you have no control on and there are other things that you have control on and once you realize that you can make a difference between the two you'll notice that you'll worry less and you'll have more energy for what matters to you. Now, I'm not saying that uh, there's some things you will never have influence on. It's not true. For example, uh, sometimes I feel that politics is important and that during election time, we focus on electing uh, a person. On the other hand, once they elected, it's a bit harder. On the other hand, there's no reason why I would not want to go into politics to make changes in policies and in politics. That's a choice I could make. But since I don't want to be in politics, then there's no reason for me to worry about it, except maybe uh, sending an email or a letter to a representative of the government to share with them my ideas, knowing that they want what's best for society. Same thing with uh, the weather. You can't really control the weather. Uh, we, we went to the drive-in yesterday and uh, we've been wanting to go for several days, even several weeks. Well, there was a time when the, um, the drive-in was closed. Then there's a few other times when uh, the, the weather was not nice. There was other times when uh, some um, responsibilities made so that I could not go. And that's why we went yesterday. Now there's a few, I cannot control the weather. So there's no reason, well, I'm shaking a little bit. There's no reason why I should be upset because it's raining and because I want to go to the drive-in. Uh, I have no power on the, the weather. On the other hand, I have power on, the, on choosing the best date to go to the drive-in. And that's what you have to keep in mind. Once you realize that there are aspects of life that you have no control on, but you can control some other specifics. And when you can make the difference, you can realize that you can make the proper decisions 
to minimize the worriness. Now, what is interesting is sometimes a lot of people have a lot of worries, but they worry and they never make decisions to make their lives easier. For example, uh, let's see, went to the drive-in yesterday. So when I decided to get the tickets, it was sold out for four days in a row and I had to get tickets on the fifth day. So that means that I had to have, it was a bit my fault, I should have planned earlier. On the other hand, once I looked at the weather and we could have tickets five days down the road, that made it possible. But I took action to buy the tickets. And that's also something you have to keep in mind. There's a lot of situation out there where um, you could worry about it, but if you make a decision, then you no longer have to worry about it. For example, I worry about what I'm going to do for dinner tonight to make sure that my family is happy. Okay. I could worry for the next three hours or I could decide, okay, for dinner, that's what I'm going to do. It takes, uh, so what do I want to do tonight? Uh, oh yes, I want to do mashed potatoes and I want to have some, um, some chicken and uh, probably some green beans. Now, once I've decided what I want to do for dinner, I don't have to worry any, anymore about it because by not by making decision the the reason for worrying is no longer there and that's something to keep in mind for the same reason for example you are um, let's see what it could be you want to go for a travel vacation and you don't know where to go you make all kind of research you worry about it and what happens is you have four options but you don't make a decisions on which one to pick well, you're gonna keep worrying about the vacations. But once you decide, okay, this is where I'm gonna go, I got my plane tickets, when the planes are on again, or I got my method of transportation, I know where I'm gonna stay, you know what? The, the worrying uh, diminishes or even vanishes because you've made decision. And by making decisions, you no longer have to worry about the situation. What is another example? Uh, for example, um, for lessons, as a teacher, I make I do lessons for my students when I have a, cl a class to, to teach. Now, I, sometimes I worry. So before I, the semester starts, I worry a lot about what I'm going to do because I'm trying to look at all the different aspects I want to include in my lessons, things I have to do, things I should do. And once I decide what I want to do, then the, the stresses goes down. And that's why I believe that pre preparing and planning for classes is so important. Because by planning, you decrease, uh, you diminishes the gray areas. You no longer have to worry about it because you've made a decision. Then you can focus on what matters, which is the learning at the time. And, uh, and I'm sure you can relate. You can put in the comments below, uh, situations where you are worrying and for which if you could make a decision your life would be so much easier and uh, sometimes uh, we see uh, people they make uh, circles on a piece of paper they make a circle where the center is something that uh, you, your life something you can control on and an outer circle for situations and event related to what you don't have control on and once you focus on what you have and what you can influence, you li your life gets easier. Now, you have to keep in mind that once you have defined your life and your vision, you can make decisions and make things better and less worrying. And I mentioned earlier that if you worry less, you'll have more energy to focus on your vision or other parts of your, uh, your life that you believe in. So that means that if you have a growth mindset, how does that fit with the circles of what you can influence or not? Well, once you, once you learn something new, what happens is the center what you have influence on, that circle expands and it expands within the, light, the, the boundaries of what you did not have control yesterday, but for which you have control today. And that's why learning is so important. Because once you learn something new, you expand your horizon, you have a new skill, and therefore, aspects of life you had no control on you had no influence on are now are not possible for you uh, to grasp a, a better understanding but also making new decisions to make things better and that's why when we talk about the, someone with a growth mindset or a ceo or an entrepreneur 
learning is so important because by learning new skills you would expand your horizon you will expand even um, your circle of friends because if you have new friends related to your new skills you'll be able to have new connections and possibly achieve more and that is the beauty of a growth mindset and the beauty of learning because we are defined by what we know and this is what we can influence Take for example when we were uh, kids, kids under five, they have control about their household, their parents, their toys, maybe some other family members and a few other kids on the street. This is their reality and this is what the influence they have and what they have control of. Now once they go to school, they go to grade one, grade two, three, they get to grade seven and eight and then grade nine, guess what? They are learning so much more and therefore they understand, their understanding of the world expands. What they can focus on can also expand, but that's when they also have to decide where they need to focus their attention. Some parents will decide to join some, uh, some kids with sports, arts lessons, martial arts, music to expand their horizon. And eventually the kids can decide what they want to do or not to do. But what happens is you need to learn something new to get the new skills to influence uh, what you could not influence before. And that brings us to the fact that there's some people who do not want to learn new things. And what happens is they become very, very comfortable with themselves in their environment. So what happens is if something new happens, they start to worry. And they start to worry because they don't know or they don't have the skill to, um, to address new situations. Now we've talked in the past that some people have a fixed mindset and other people have a growth mindset. If you have a fixed mindset and something new comes up, what happens is you have the same small inner circle that uh, you can control and influence. However, the outer circle, when there's a new situation, expands. So you have to keep in mind that as life goes by, that outer circle that you have no influence and you cannot control can expand because uh, you're meeting new people, you are um, hearing about new ideas. So someone with fixed mindset will be stressed about that because their comfort zone with respect to their lives, if you look at the proportion, will get smaller and smaller because their outer lives gets bigger but who they are and how they define themselves stays the same on the other hand with a growth mindset someone if someone hears a new ideas or there's a new friend in or a new acquaintance in their lives it, it's an opportunity to expand the idea an opportunity to learn something new a new perspective new ideas so what happened is as the outer circle of their lives expands someone with a growth mindset would have an inner core that they can influence gets bigger as well and how can it be it's because they enjoy the process of learning something new and that's something we have to keep in mind because if you're willing to learn something new and your circle of influence expands so what can happen is um you see that sometimes in people that are born in a small town, for example. You've got someone, they have a certain level of influence and they have the outer lives. And sometimes someone may be very happy in that environment. Somehow, there are other people where their understanding of the world and the growth mindset gets bigger and they learn more and more. And what happens is they feel that their understanding and influence includes the outer rims of their lives. So they feel they understand everything. They feel they have all the knowledge they need. They feel that they need, there's much more to learn. So what happens? These individuals want to leave. They want to leave, uh, they want to leave home. So eventually a teenager or a young adult will want to leave home to expand because they've, they've learned everything there is to learn at the home. Someone could decide to leave a town because they feel that they know everything about the town, they know how it is, they want to expand their horizon and they want to leave. And that's why traveling is such an amazing way to expand your mind. 
when you travel you have you're meeting new situation you're learning new traditions and new perspective you're meeting new people and that allows you to to expand who you are there's nothing better than traveling some of you will say well I can't travel I don't have the money I don't have a job right now oh, I can understand that so what can you do if you don't have the budget or the time to travel well guess what you can bring the world towards you back in the days there was the library uh, there were the libraries and you can go there get a book a resource that can teach you and from from which you can learn new perspective and traditions the internet is there the internet is full of information and sometimes more than we would like about uh, different topics uh, there are a lot of people that travel uh, there are masterminds there are courses uh, when we go to school there are people from all around the world attending uh, single schools it gives you a chance to have different perspective when I was in at McGill University I remember there was there was a lot of people that we called international students it was a great way for you to learn from people from different uh, province or different country even if different continent without having to go there that's something you can keep in mind now I have three tips for you on how to expand your mind and being able to focus on what you can focus and therefore give you energy for what really matters for you so my first one is to figure out okay we have our lives and we have what we can focus on ourselves our vision I want you to define and make a, and make a list of what you can control what you know what you can do uh, what are the people that you know the skills the knowledge the resources you have these are the things that you can you can focus and on and influence then I want you to look at the overall life all the things that you have no control on something outside of who you are that is there that can affect your life but that you have no control on because it's important to know the difference and once you know I want you to look at inside what are the parts so that my, my third tip is to look at the overall picture and decide what do you know and what can you learn to expand who you are and your perspective so that you can expand your perspective on the overall all encompassing all encompassing life you have I think that's a great exercise and because the more you learn the more you'll be able to affect the environment around you the other part is look at, the, at your life and is there something that you don't know much about that you have no control on that you never you don't know anybody that could help you and you say you know what I'm gonna try to focus on learning a little bit from there I uh, learn uh, to get to know a person uh, social media is there that can give me insight on me better understanding a situation you may not be able to control much more the situation but you'll know more about it and once you know to be good for you you may decide to e learn even more and that could change your life because you'll be able to expand uh, your influence and expand on what you can uh, focus on because we don't want you to worry we want you to be able to to focus on learning what you need to know to no longer have to worry and the best way to do that is to take decisions or to make decisions I'm gonna put here a, a, no, my call to action I have not to forget that my call to action for you is to do take a piece of paper and as I was studying the different tips I want you to make a big circle and a small circle in the big circle I want you to include everything that is related to your life what makes your life great what you know who you know inside is uh, your who you are as a person and from the big circle you can make arrows that includes that things that you have control from your environment and from there I want you to see is there something you can learn something new you can learn to make to expand your life because we're focusing on growth mindset I'm gonna put right here a link to my playlist my playlist of videos called best life journey from which you will learn more about learning and how growth mindset will help you go to the next level
see you there.